name is Intent Raven. In the last episode, I think we killed a mob boss? Maybe? We saw some tires. I know that. And, uh... Kind of scared of what happens next. There was a bunch of children screaming, Daddy, no. So... There was that. Um... We also have a place to stay when we get to San Vandino. Uh, it's the almost mother-in-law that hates me. So... This is just... The, the gift just keeps on giving! Um... What do our days look like? We have 15 days. I think. There's a part in there that's like, I'm really worried I'm gonna get stopped by the cops. Or something. Cause I did just, like, I slashed the man's tires, raced him, and then he died. Like... Homie's a crispy critter right now. Um, so I feel like a lot of things just opened up that I'm- oh shit. Daddy was on fire! What will we do now, Daddy? I miss you, Daddy. I don't actually think- for the record, I don't actually think that these, like, these four kids are his. Why, Daddy? Why? I do think that he was like a surrogate father, um, to them, which, you know, is something. Um, also, can we just talk about my standards real quick? I wouldn't, the reason why we slashed his tires is because I wouldn't do the, the drug deal, essentially. I said no to drugs, but yes to like, murder. <laughs> Which, that... I feel like it should have a, a bigger weight on me. Like, I'm all okay with killing someone, just outright, just outright killing a dude, than being a drug dealer. <laughs> yeah. Um... I do want to go in here and see if... No, I, I want to go see if, uh... What was his name? I want to go see if the old guy who bet on me is going to get his stuff back. I don't see why he wouldn't. But like... He, he's not down here. Good day! Barry Burns, don't know what I've been here Jubilee Jailer Park and proud resident too. I haven't seen you before you look into hunger down in old soul city for a bit. You must be one heck of a quiet camp, I didn't even hear you pull in! Uh, no actually, I'm visiting an old friend named Mark. Well, shit on a pickle, you gotta be raving, right? I guess I lost the betting pool on when you'd arrive. There are 50 smackers and a six pack to boot. You guys were betting on me? Well, after Mark wouldn't shut up about you coming to visit. We oh. figured <coughs> you'd at least have some fun about it. We thought it'd be funny seeing how Mark hates gambling and all. Didn't even phase him though. He said he, he had a shit eating grin ever since he called. Go figure. Go figure. It's not every day we get a world famous author walking around through Salt City. Hell, you're not talking to the town as it stands. I'm surprised you haven't had to sign any autographs yet. I'd like to one, but I don't have a copy of your book, I'm afraid. Not much of a reader myself, but I do like crossword puzzles. Are you blind? You're blind, right? How are you doing crossword puzzles? You ever had one of the crossword books before? Me and my wife are always looking for new ones, seeing as how fast you can finish them. You're right, take a while on John. Uh, no? Sorry? Alright. Alright, don't sweat it. If you haven't found Mark's place yet, it's a big wheel one by the numbers. There's anything else I can help you with? Nope, I'm good. Oh, we got a message on the computer over there. Wait, excuse me, that could be a reservation. You found indie figure number five. Monster food. Monster loves you. Uh, no. Uh. Okay, this that is seeing my dog. Okay. Um. Guess we better. Go to the...
Guess we better go into the church, right? What a terrible human being. <laughs> the morality of it is very grey. Well, baby boy, I guess we're all set to get you this time. I need a car is ready for you. Whatever you need. Unless, of course, you want to stick around for a bit. Uh, not yet. There you go. Okay, I thought... Okay. I think it's gonna, like... Probably gonna come up in the next episode. Or in, like, the next city. The fact that we basically just, like, murder a man. There are no repercussions over it. Right? Like... We're just gonna leave? Just like that? I thought it'd be, like, a bigger... Something about it. Gramps. It's so dark and he's like a really see. I have another shot, bartender. Yep, I know the voice have changed seven times. I know. It's okay. It's fine. I, I I guess we leave, right? Like, there's no real reason to stay anymore. Cause like sleeping would still cause me to lose stamina. So I guess we should just head on down the road. Well, baby boy, I was all ready for y'all whenever you need. Unless of course you want to stick around for a bit. Wanna take me to San Bondino? Let's go. Let me kiss this town goodbye. Let's hit the road, Mark. We got a road to burn. That's why I wanna hear you! Let's go! Yeah, man, we're on. We're off and out. We ruined a lot of people's lives. San Bondino. Like, we ruined a lot of people's lives. Day 16. It took us two days to get here? Holy shit. Well, I guess this is it, baby, baby boy. He got a last and gone so soon. I really enjoy getting to see you again, you know? Big part of me never thought I'd ever get to see you all grown up, but I got more than I can ask for. Ooh, talk, it's been a real pleasure, Raven. Yeah, it was fun getting to know you too. Maybe I'll stop by Salt City sometime in the future or something. Bless you, baby boy! Bless your heart! You always know you got a place to stay with old Mark! I guess this is where we bought for now, ain't it? Yeah, seems that way. Thanks again. For everything. Yeah, well, it's the least I could do! You turned into such a fine young man! It does me a world of good. I try not to explode, stream. You too, Mark. One more thing before I go. What's that? Stay true to who you are, whoever you think that is. Nothing's more important in this world, or the next. Whatever comes your way, just try to be as honest with yourself as you can. Maybe God will be watching, maybe not. This ain't for any of us to say for certain. For my own mistakes, though, I know there's no escaping your past. So try to be decent in the present. All right? Yeah, I understand. Hoo wee! All right then, baby boy. Just have my shuffle off and let you get on. Don't forget, Jesus loves you. Why is that? I've never heard that line. Like, if Jesus loves you, said in a way that doesn't just sound completely sarcastic. I remember this really... Just looks like it was yesterday. Babe, or ex-babe, your place is massive. It's a joke. Can I, I can't go into the shed? Oh well. I should see if anyone's home before I start snooping. 
Uh, that just, that's just not running to Veronica. Cassie? Raven? You know, I've got to say I'm a little surprised you're actually here. I don't remember seeing your name on the seating arrangement for the reception. Well, I'm surprised as anyone I was invited, all things considered. You were invited, weren't you? Yeah, of course. I got the invitation and everything. I came in the mail. Just like everyone else's. Huh. How about that? Veronica never mentioned you'd be coming. Or maybe I'm just not as sharp as I used to be. Either way, I wasn't about to let you come all this way and stay in a motel or something. Yeah, thanks for that. I'm not putting you out, am I? Not at all. Since Veronica moved out, I've had the whole... I've had the place myself. It's a funny thing, being on my own now. While you two were here, I couldn't wait for you to get out of my hair. Now that I finally got my privacy back, I kind of miss having people around the house. Get... Grat... My gris... The gas is always keen, huh? <laughs> huh? I guess sometimes it's true. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. It's alright. Uh, I'll be fine. As long as Veronica's happy. No sense getting all worked up about it now. Right? All that matters now is that things are the way she wants. I suppose that's true. As long as it's true. What do you mean by that? Oh, nothing really. Just you know how Veronica and I are. We love uh, each other a great deal, but we barely talk. I never did ask what happened between you two, why it all ended. It's one of those things that always made me feel a little bit of a failure as a mother. If it's too much to talk about, you don't have to. I just wish I knew what happened between you two. I mean, you seem so happy together. It's hard to imagine why it didn't work. Well, I guess things aren't always as good as they are. They seem from the outside. Truth be told, it kind of snuck up on me too. For lack of a better way to put it, who dumb too? Huh. <laughs> I was worried you'd ask that. I feel like she's dumb to me. I feel like that'd be much like... Because based off everything off this game, right? It's always been... I've dealt with the punches as they've come to me. I've never been the one to come swinging. You know what I mean? So I feel like she's dumb to me. It's more accurate than anything else. Let me go down. She was the one who dumped me. With good reason, I suppose. I can't say I didn't see it coming. All things considered, I messed up pretty badly. Why, though? What made her want to leave you? Well, if there was a simple way to put it, I was careless. I feel like because I'm trying, like, okay, so I'm trying to put everything together, right, based off of what we played, what we know so far. And, like, the last thing we know in the timeline, before the game actually starts, is that I was living here, and she was leaving me money as a kind of regular thing, and I was working on my book, the book that never got finished. And then in the very beginning of the game, there's the whole mobster thing that we still have been cleared up. It's kind of it's gotten been kind of confusing. Um, so there's that, and apparently that's a thing I have to deal with. So I think, again, going based off the logic of I roll with the punches once I get hit, I think I was careless is the better way of putting it. I guess you could say I was a little more careless than I should have been. When I wrote, I never considered how she would feel about reading it. There was no buffer of privacy and it's an all relationship into a public affair. She left me because I couldn't shield her from my fears and anxieties about where we were going. Well, for what it's worth, Veronica hasn't been the same since she split. Maybe that sort of breakup changes a person. Maybe she's just unhappy. All I know is I'm not so sure everything's as good as it could be for her. Don't get me wrong for a minute. Veronica couldn't pick a more fantastic person to marry. I just remember her being a lot happier while she was with you. 
But then again, this is what she wants, so don't get any ideas, alright? Doesn't matter what I say, she's made her choice. Look, I've gotta get fitted for my dress. I hate doing this stuff, but I guess I shouldn't put it off any longer. You're welcome to stay here, there's no problem about that. The bedroom's yours if you want it. What about Veronica? I have all the money they've been making, they went and got in the apartment closer downtown. I stop by from time to time, but I've got the place mostly to myself these days. Make yourself at home. Oh yeah, but don't eat all the leftovers, alright? Understood. Alright, do me a favor and make sure you lock up the place before you go. Last thing I need is another break-in. Can't afford to keep replacing all my stuff. Oh, that's my ride. See you soon, Raven. That is weird. So, in a way... Alright, so I need to go eat something. Which makes sense. It has been like two days that we didn't. Um, so I probably have to go into town to find some food. Feed fish. <laughs> Hungry little fish. There you go. Nothing there. Can't believe they haven't upgraded the old V Box home game system yet. I guess you can play a game. I have this gnawing feeling. I don't like this feeling, right? Because we have two weeks, right, before the wedding. Let me just... Yeah, we have two weeks before the wedding. Um, I don't like this feeling that I'm going to run into her before the wedding. Like, it's gross and I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not a fan. Um, Let me go on... I, as much as I want to explore the house, and I really want to explore the house, I feel like the best thing I could do... I don't think I've ever left the pistol. Why well, start now? Okay, so I can only come in from the back. That's fucking stupid. Um, I think the only like I need to get some food in my belly. So let's start there, and then from there I can kind of figure out what I have to do. Oh, I can't leave. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, I still can't open that up. So I'm just stuck at the house, I guess. Should I crash? I should probably go check the fridge for leftovers then. Okay, nothing over there. Why is this door always locked? I guess I could take a shower. Might help me clear my mind. Take a fucking shower, you're gross. I don't think throughout this entire game we've taken a shower. No! Finish the damn shower. Where did the time go? It takes longer than I thought. I didn't even touch myself. Touch my body. <laughs> oh, okay, you can just crash. Okay, sure. Oh, we're gonna have another dream sequence on the way. Yep, all good. It's all wrong still. Can't get it right. I'm running out of time. What the hell is wrong with me? It shouldn't be this difficult. <sighs> What's the matter? You alright? Then my grumbling gets you. I'm just frustrated. Come on. Maybe we can give this a read. Okay, what's wrong with it? I'm sorry, Raven. I think it's time we had a talk. What's the matter, babe? Did I do something wrong? Whatever it is, I can fix it. No, you shouldn't have to. I'm just sick of reading our life played back over and over on every page you write. It's the point where I don't even know what's real and what's in the fiction anymore. I'm sorry, it's just 
that real life is the best inspiration I have, so I pull from it a lot. I don't mean to spell our entire history on the pages, but it's really all I know how to write. Besides, it's not like anyone reads it and we'll be able to separate what's real and what's not. That's not the point, Raven. I'm saying I don't feel like we even really have a relationship anymore. Not when everything we do feels recorded in that damn book. It's like we don't even have any privacy anymore. No room to breathe and just be us. The characters may have different names, but deep down I know... I know where everything is coming from and it scares me. What do you want me to do? Do you know how important finishing this is to me? How much I want it to work? I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I made you feel like that, but... What other choice do I have? None. I know it's the truth. It's not fair. I'm gonna ask you to change what you do. But it's also not fair for me to sit by while my life is hammered out one minute at a time. What do you say? I'm saying that this is it, Raven. The ending you've been waiting for. We close the story right here, right now. We both move on with our lives. This is it, huh? After all we've been through together? After all we thought we'd become? We just end here. Like this. A real piece of work, Veronica. You, I, I can't even talk. Say something, damn it. What's there left to say, but bye. Day 17. I did this pretty fast. Took me like two weeks again to send an email. If only it was just a dream. Alright, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna call it here. And I'm gonna thank you guys for watching. Because my name has been Insane Raven. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.